good morning everyone uh, thank you uh, bombay orthopedic society and organizers uh, for giving the opportunity so we have seen so far the uh, uh, dorsal dislocation which is uh, uh, fairly common uh, you can see in day to day practice but what uh, is i'm um, talking about is the coronal and rotational these are uncommon injuries and uh, you must know how uh, this uh, pathognomic happens so that we can understand about the uh, treatment part as well so here is a, uh, one case uh, brought from the literature a uh, 9 year male little thing uh, had injury uh, close reduction was attempted uh, but could not be uh, done uh, properly as you can see in the x ray the joint is in congress so what went wrong let's understand the pathognomy so disruption of the collaterals it damages either from the base of the uh, uh, middle phalanx or at the uh, head of the uh, proximal phalanx then it rotates around the intact ligament and the proximal phalanx wedge between the lateral band and the extensor tendon so that commonly prevents the uh, close reduction at the first instant so they usually uh, present like a butner deformity looks like a central slip rupture but one must uh, do the thorough uh, x ray and the clinical examination so they will present properly uh, as a uh, rotational or coronal injuries so how do you test test the joint in full extension right you're testing the joint in full extension for checking the proper collaterals so in full extension you can check and the uh, for the proper collaterals in uh, 30 degree of flexion if you see you can checking the accessory collaterals so it will give you idea about whether they are stable or unstable and which ligaments are torn okay and preferably it should be done under digital block because patient is cooperative and you can have the uh, good e examination so radiologically if you do the x ray you may find some of the avulsion fractures and could be a joint subluxation something like this so if you have a complete tear of the collateral you will have the complete dislocation coming to the management part the grade 1 and grade 2 are preferably treated with the uh, non surgically because they are stable if you reduce them a uh, st uh, type 2 injury they will be stable in full flexion and full extension and can be treated very well with the taping and just you can start the range of motion as early as when the pain and swelling is uh, decrease but the grade 3 tier or which are not reducing because of the some entrapment or if they are unstable after the reduction uh, of the uh, joint so coming to the uh, the first case here close reduction was attempted and could not be uh, reduce so what went wrong so uh, the uh, treating surgeon uh, did the ultrasound and found the avulsion fragment was entrapped between the joint which through which it was the uh, not possible to uh, reduce it congressly so what is the approach is a mid axial or the dorso radial or dorso ulna depending on the where site is approach so if you mark those point at the joint you can take a straight incision mid axial and you can approach to the joint so lift the uh, lateral band so this can be very useful for the treating the uh, other phalanx fracture as well so this is mid axial and you can put either uh, uh, micro anchors or the anchor which is available and you can fix the avulsion ligament so the same case uh, dorsal radial approach was used and this you can see it was avulsion from the head of the uh, proximal phalanx and which was uh, fixed with the suture anchor and the full functional range was achieved at the 4 weeks so if you see the literature you can see a uh, multiple case reports because as i said these injuries are uh, rare they are not uh, common as the dorsal dislocation so lots of literature have been reviewed and these are the isolated single case reports and where all the close reduction were attempted and they failed because some of the entrapment 
So this is one of the index case uh, by the PC hose. The radial collateral itself entrapped into the joint and could not be uh, reduced. Again, the same approach was used to reduce the joint and fix with the suture anchor. And the same, uh, the case which I shown, uh, this was again the entrapment of the osteochondral fragment in the joint and uh, this was approached surgically and uh, taking out the interposed fragment and fixing with the suture anchors. So to uh, summarize, these are uncommon injuries, okay? So give the local anesthesia finger block, you can assess them clinically very properly, you can have the treatment uh, based on your examination. So whenever attempt the close reduction, they are stable, you can start the early range of motion with the taping. If not reduce, do the local ultrasound, the best non-invasive thing which you can do and go through the mid-axial and fix with the micro-anchor, you can have the good results. Thank you. Thank you, Prashant. Really good yeah. talk on an yeah. uncommon topic. Uh, this one. So again, the approach is. Uh, this one. Huh. So these are the lateral bands uh, and the central slips. So once the dislocation happens, the collateral, the proximal phalanx goes between the central slip and one of the lateral band. And that wages and that sometimes prevent the uh, close reduction. So you can give the uh, local uh, ring block and you can do the close reduction there. And some of the case reports which are shown, those entrap the collaterals or the some of the small osteochondral fragments. Mm -hmm.